Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9 to the power of a, this is equal to 360. So what is the value of a, given that a is not equal to 0? So let's prevent a solution from here. So we have 9 to the power of a, this is equal to 360. To solve for a, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have log 9 to the power of a this is equal to log 360 so log 9 to the power of a this is in the form of log a to the power of n which we can express as n log a applying this logarithm property then we have log 9 to the power of a becomes a log 9 this is equal to rho 360. So the next step is to divide both sides by rho 9 and also here by rho 9. So by simplifying here, this implies that A is equal to rho 360 divided by rho 9. Now, we can express 360 basically as, this is the same thing as 9 multiplied by 40. So substituting this, then we have A is equal to rog 9 times 40, then divided by rog 9. We can express Remember rock 9 times 40, this is in the form of rock A times B, which we can express as rock A plus rock B. Applying this logarithm property, then we have A is equal to, this is rock 9, divided by rock 9, then plus, here we have rock 40, divided by rock Nine. So rock nine here simplifies, so that now we have a is equal to one plus this is rock forty divided by rock nine. The next step is that we can express forty basically as this is the same thing as eight multiplied by five. Now we can express 40 as 8 times 5, so let's substitute here, so that a is equal to 1, plus, this is rho, 8 times 5, divided by rho, 9. Now again we have rho 8 times 5, this is in the form of rho a times b, which can be expressed as rho a plus rho b. So that now, here we have a, is equal to 1 plus rho 8 divided by rho 9 then plus rho 5 divided by rho 9. The next step is that we can express 8 basically as 2 to the power of 3 and we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2. So let's substitute this so that we have a is equal to 1 plus this is rho 8 which is 2 to the power of 3 divided by rho 9 which is rho 2 that is 3 to the power of 2 then plus rho 5 divided by rho 9 which is rho 3 to the power of 2. So let's apply the power of property here so that we have a is equal to 1 plus rho 2 to the power of 3 becomes 3 rho 2 divided by here we have rho 3 to the power of 2 which becomes 2 rho 3 then plus here we have rho 5 divided by rho 3 to the power of 2 becomes 2 rho 3 now the next step from here we have a is equal to 1 
plus this is 3 over 2 this is rope 2 divided by rope 3 then plus a half rope 5 divided by rope 3 okay so that now rope 2 over rope 3 and rope 5 over rope 3 this is in the form of row a divided by row b which you can express as row a to base b so let's apply this property so that now a is equal to 1 plus 3 over 2 this is row 2 to base 3 then plus half this is row 5 to base 3 so this is the value of a this is the value of a the next step from here is to verify so let's verify that this value of a satisfies the equation so if you recall we have that 9 raised to the power of a this is supposed to give us 360 so let's substitute the value of a so we have 9 raised to the power of 1 plus 3 over 2 this is row 2 to base 3 then plus half this is row 5 to base 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 360 now from here we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2 so let's substitute this so we have 3 to the power of 2 times 1 plus 3 over 2 this is row 2 to base 3 then plus half this is row 5 to base 3 this should give us a value of 360 the next step from here let's open the parentheses here so this means that we have 3 2 times 1 this is 2 then plus now 2 times 3 over 2 this means we simplify 2 here so we have 3 rock 2 to base 3 then plus 2 times a half rock 5 to base 3 so this means 2 and 2 simplifies so that we have rock 5 to base 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 360 so we find that 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 rock 2 to base 3 remember this is a power so we can express this as 3 to the power of 2 plus this is row 2 to the power of 3 then to base 3 then plus row 5 to base 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 360 the next step from here 3 to the power of 2 plus row 2 to power 3 to base 3 plus row 5 to base 3 this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m applying this exponent property then here we have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of rho 2 to the power 3 to base 3 then multiplying by 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 360 the next step from here we find that 3 squared this is equal to 9 so we have 9 multiplying by 3 to the power of rho 2 to the power 3 to base 3 then times 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 this should give us a value of 360 so 3 to the power of rho 2 to the power 3 to base 3 and 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 this is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a and this is equal to b so applying this logarithm property then we have 3 to the power of rho 2 to the power of 3 to base 3 this is equal to 2 to the power 3 this is equal to 8 and that 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 this is equal to 5 so let's substitute this so that now we have 9 times 8 
times 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 360. So we have 9 times 8. This is equal to 72. Then times 5. So we have 5 times 2. This is equal to 10. So 0. Carry 1 here. Then 7 times 5. That 5 plus 1. This is 36. And this implies that here. That 360 is equal to 360. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of A, which is basically equal to 1 plus 3 over 2 rock 2 to base 3 plus a half rock 5 to base 3, actually satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video. If you have alternative solution here, you can also showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.